Eight months into my own, doing my own dialysis, in October 2006, my wife and I hear about a meeting in Thousand Oaks that's run by an organization called TRIO, which is the uh, Transplant Recipients International Organization. And we go to it because we're interested in it. And the head of, uh, the tr of, of kidney transplant at um, UCLA, Dr. Gabrilovich, who's internationally famous, is speaking. And it sounds really interesting. So we go, and what we find is a group of people, there's about 40 people there, and they're not just kidney transplants. They're heart transplants. They're liver transplants. They're lung transplants. I met a woman who had a heart transplant 14 years ago. You know, I thought you were lucky you lived six months with a heart transplant. You know, on kidney transplants, I thought, yeah, you got five, six, eight years maybe. I met people who have been living 25 years with the same kidney transplant. All of a sudden, you know, you began to see the real living examples of what could happen. The possibilities are there, okay? No guarantees, but the possibilities are there. There's a break. There's an intermission in the program, and there's a couple sitting in front of us. And they turn around, and they obviously see that I'm on dialysis because they see the fistula, and they turn around, and they want to know if I've heard of the next stage system one. Not at all. The, the husband of the, of the the husband and wife who are sitting in front has been on the machine for some three or four months on a trial basis through a hospital in the San Fernando Valley. He's one of the first people in California who's been on the machine. It's a home hemodialysis unit. It's state of the art. It's been developed by a, by a company called Next Stage in Framingham, Massachusetts. They spent nine years at Mass General testing it out. It's, it's been given FDA approval, which is very, very important, which means that Medicare will pay for it as they pay for dialysis, normal dialysis in clinic, or for peritoneal dialysis. The machine is, well, it's about the size of an old computer terminal. It weighs about 70 pounds. It's portable. You can travel with it. It has a cartridge that you put in that has your filters on it, your tubes, everything. It's all pre-sealed. The fluids are all pre-mixed. You hang bags. You do it. It takes about 20 minutes to set it up. You're on the machine anywhere from two to three hours. It takes five minutes to break down and clean it up. And you can travel with it. The supplies are sent ahead by UPS. It's really unbelievable. What's the catch? You got to do it six days a week. You've got to put 15 gauge needles in your arm six days a week. Well, by this point, what's a needle? What's a 15 gauge needle? You know, I don't care anymore. You know, I've got championship veins. <laughs> okay, I'm lucky. No, you have to have good veins. I'm lucky. We apply, and it turns out that I am the second person in line to get the machine. This is in December of uh, 2006. Um, because my wife and I are very, very familiar with the dialysis process, it takes us five days to train on the new machine. I'm already cannulating, you know, putting the needles in the arm, all that stuff. And we're looking at the, and the instruction book that comes with the machine is so easy a child could use it. The machine has, has has, you know, it's red, green, and yellow keys, the shape of a kidney to start, stop as a stop sign. I mean, you can't, you really can't make a mistake with this machine. And they have the most wonderful 24-7 text on the phone from Boston. The worst thing about them is their New, New England accent. But they're great. You call them up at 3 in the morning, they don't care. They got an answer for you. You do some dumbass thing about the machine. You forget to plug something in. You're in the middle of the treatment, and things are going to explode. And they say, take your, take your time. Go calm down. All you got to do is this and this and this and this. And, and it happens. It works. Well, 
this is this is this is amazing this machine I was on it for two and a half years and I started eating practically everything again because my blood was clean or cleaner I never had any down periods I gained weight I went back to work daily I could work four hours a day you know I wasn't cured, I wasn't, but I was much, much healthier. And the case I'm making here, if you haven't gotten it already, is that daily hemodialysis or some form of daily dialysis, whether it's peritoneal, whether it's the new nocturnal hemodialysis that, that you'll hear about if you haven't heard about it already, where people come in at night and sleep through dialysis for eight hours. But as long as you get it daily, you can live a fairly normal life and your life expectancy improves tremendously. We took it with us on airplanes. The airlines weren't happy, but they had to take it. It's like a wheelchair. They have to carry it. I had letters. I plastered Red Cross signs all over the box. You know, it was great. It was great. Okay. We would go to visit friends and friends would insist that, that I dialyze out in the family room, not in the bedroom. And the ones who were squeamish, you know, they'd say, okay, go out of the room while I put the needles in and they wanted to know how it worked. They couldn't believe it. Here was somebody who had a, who had a disease that was deadly but was living a fairly normal life. And they would sit there and they would feed me, which was even better, you know, the things that I could, that I could eat. <laughs> so it was, it was social. And, it, and, it, and I can't tell you how much a difference this makes in one's life because you don't have that when you're in a dialysis clinic. Most dialysis clinics are are very are very structured. Okay.